the ideal analytics uh, professional, you know, in terms of what we're trying to create with student is someone who has a good grasp of the technical skills, uh, but also has very strong communication skills, strong teamwork skills, uh, strong tool skills, and the ability to work with complex tools like SAS, uh, as well as a kind of problem-solving orientation. So someone who is not approaching everything from a research point of view, but focusing from the perspective of there's a problem, we have data, we need to draw whatever insights we have from that data on a very tight timeline. We've always been traditionally a combination of statistics and operations research. What we've really seen is a shift to expectations that students know a lot more about data mining as well as using big data and how to deal with that even before they start their jobs. What the employers in the Greater Philadelphia area are looking for, uh, among other things, are also students who know how to look at data and to see what the actual story is. It's not just to uh, run a, a simple uh, proc means and, or proc tabulate, we actually to read the data, um, to understand what the story behind the data is, or the stories are, and how to identify the most appropriate story that the data are actually telling you. Basically to uh, schmooze with the data, put it in, in simple terms. Uh, data is the new buzzword and SAS is the most popular tool to analyze it. So it's really important to have SAS at our university and it'll be, it's available to the students very easily. Uh, I was doing my internship and we had two really interesting projects. One was on gambling and one was a sports data set. And uh, for the sports data set we had to, uh, we had to predict the customers, uh, the seating arrangement in the stadium and we have used SaaS to segment the customers and we were able to actually uh, provide good business solutions to the client. During the program they get to work on lots of interesting case studies. One of the current ones are gasoline prices, daily gasoline prices at every uh, gas station in the United States. If you take one week of data there's more than 700,000 rows and if you use SaaS's HP Reg and other high performance products it has no problem. It actually enjoys analyzing that really quickly. And my biggest advice is, um, is, of course, to take courses to supplement what they already know. Most of our students already have a bachelor's degree. They already have some experience with uh, scripting or with statistics. So we do, uh, advice is to uh, take our certificate program, which is very hands-on, practical knowledge is probably one of the best things that you could show to uh, potential employers. And the other biggest piece of advice I have is to network as much as possible. Analytics is not related to just one field because I have done my undergraduation in biotechnology and now I'm doing my master's in management information systems. So I would just like to advise that uh, you know don't restrict yourself to just one particular industry. You don't expect to get everything in the classroom. Uh, if you're interested in a particular subject, read about it. Grab a book, read about it, apply it. Don't expect, to, uh, if you don't have a data, simulate your own data. How would you simulate your own data? By reading about how to simulate your own data. When you actually come to a conference such as the Global Forum, a conference as big as this one, that is when you actually know how big the world of analytics is and how big SAS really is and how lucky you are to have SAS at your academy.